Let's do it. Okay, at the top left position as the red Protoss, we will have Lancer. And the bottom right is the brown Protoss, we will have DeWalt. Alright. Now, I'm a little bit scared here because I really don't know if they're gonna try to do something crazy. And especially on this map. Inverted ramp, you know, it does lead to some crazy games. It definitely can. Uh, I'm always a big proponent of, uh, you know, like 3 gate, 4 gate goon builds on the reverse ramp maps. But uh, we've seen all kinds of things. I mean, didn't Lancer X play and lose against uh, a 12 Nex in. Uh, Vanadir, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that, was that the game? Oh, no. Desakwe lost against the oh, yeah. 12 yeah, but, Nex. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. To be honest, that's there's no shame in that. Like twelve next best build ever. So, <laughs> well, hopefully we see uh, at least one twelve next in this uh, series. I, I want to see a two one series though, because both game, both series so far have been two O's. Oh, and by the way, your predictions so far have been correct on the winner at least on both yeah. those, which means I've been wrong. But whatever, <laughs> it's all good. Well, I, mean, I gotta say that uh, I I was a little bit like. Chewing for obviously for the for my predictions, but I did want to see third games, so yeah. I'm sad about that. Yeah, well, uh, hopefully we'll see okay. that here. I, d don't worry. You know what? Whatever happens, I'm sure in Desakwe versus True Touch, there's going to be like a three-hour-long game because Desakwe just decides to go crazy and make you know 20 Dark Archons or something. So that's going to make up for all of the uh, all of the two O series. <laughs> okay, now. Even if even if that doesn't happen, it's still probably gonna be really good. So, uh -huh. okay. So uh, the thing I'm looking at right now is that they scouted. I mean, sorry. Uh, Last week scouts cross position. He's gonna get lucky at least to find his opponent, and it seems like the wall is gonna be doing the same thing. Probably saw the probe coming from that weird angle. So, uh, most likely both players are gonna see what the their opponent is doing. And so far, mirror builds, nothing different. Yeah, that's uh. That's actually really interesting. Both going cross map. I mean, in PvP, uh, or even in some other, even in like PvT and stuff, you can basically have one build for cross map and one build for close positions, uh, depending. So you know, it kind of makes sense to do that. Manor Pylon. Hey. Wait, is that Manor Pylon? Yeah, is it? Okay. <laughs> for and a second, I thought it was not. Not only did Lancer get a Manor Pylon, he actually killed Dewalt's probe in his base with his own probes. So there's no scouting probe on the other side now. Okay. Yeah. Now that's bad. Yeah. I, oh. The the only thing is, that's okay for DeWalt is that there's no Zealot coming out from Lancer. Normally, when you go for Mana Pylon, you at least want one Zealot to go in and start harassing so that your opponent's Zealot can't just kill your Pylon so easily. So I'm not actually 100% sure if this is worth it or not without Zealot harass. Hmm. I mean, I think it's worth it because of what Lancer X is building in his main. Uh, so you mean getting? Wait, oh, <laughs> oh my god! I was like, I was like, I kept misclicking and like failing to click this uh, the citadel for a while. I was like, wait, what? What building is that? Oh my god, dude! I blame my cat. My cat is like lying next to me. It keeps like hitting my hand, so my mouse goes crazy. If you guys notice my mouse like flickering around randomly, it's because of my stupid cat. Dude, dude, don't blame the cat. Okay, <laughs> uh, you're. I gotta blame the lag. I have okay. latency. <laughs> Oh. I blame the cat for my poor micro. You know, you can blame the cat for the microphone quality when I'm talking, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's my cat chewing on the cord. It's <laughs> chewing on the internet, and therefore we can't hear cat's paw correctly. Mm. Wait, okay, so the two gateways are finished. The... wait... Uh, there's only one Dragoon coming out from the vault, and he is going for range to gate, still no robot in sight. Yeah. Uh, huh. If he... Well, I don't actually know what he's doing, why he hasn't built a robot yet. Robot or anything else, because if it was, was something different, then... He's actually pulled one guy off gas. He's not thinking of Nexus, is he? There he goes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, he put the guy back on gas. Okay, I'm not sure what that was. There was definitely only two on gas for a second there, but he's got it back. Okay, he's got the robot, but that's... Hmm, the timing is going to be very, very close here. So the DTs, obviously, they have to run cross-map. 
Uh, the Robo will die. I think it it dies. If he if he manages to get in, it's gonna it be dies. it's gonna be incredibly close. I think you're right. I think you're right. The Robo is building way too slowly. Even if he builds the observatory straight away, yeah, I think he's probably dead. Yeah, I think so. Oh man, sad times. Sad and look at that times. zealot actually running away to buy trolling. <laughs> the extra 2 DTs. Oh man. Oh man, Lancer X. Okay, let's see, let's see. The robo is about to finish. That observatory. This. Uh, as soon as uh, he sees the Nexus, he should know. Oh, he's, he stopped for a second. Oh. Oh. oh okay, no, that, 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 that should die. Oh. Is he going to target it? Is he going to go for it? He's going to go for it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. No. Oh. oh, come on, man. Yeah. GG. Okay. GG, yo. <laughs> oh. Yeah. There you go. Well, I mean, there's not much more to say about that, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cut and dry, unfortunately. Bit of a build order loss there for DeWall, not having the Robo up in time. Um, yeah, cl classic DT rush. I mean, it's PvP, guys. There's going to be DT somewhere. <laughs> well, I got to say, though, that the only thing that I was really interested about was how much time Lance Rex actually bought himself with that Zealot. Because even if you do have to build the observatory and have to wait a little bit, if he saw the, the, the exact build that was happening... I think he could have at least blocked with a Dragoon on the ramp or something, maybe. Like, yeah. it would still be difficult, but... Uh. Yeah, I, I think in that... Um, so, mm, let's say we rewind uh, maybe just before the DTs get out. Uh, so, most of the Dragoons were already on that side of the map. Uh, I think in Lancer's... Or, sorry, in DeWalt's position there, what you do is... Those Dragoons that are already at his base, you immediately use those to go kill as many probes as you can. And then all the rest of the goons coming from your gateways, you just block the ramp. Because I think yeah. uh, he would have had two dragoons, maybe. Uh, I can't remember. Actually, maybe maybe only one. But ideally, he would have two dragoons to fully block the ramp, and that would buy you know so an extra ten seconds or so, fifteen seconds, just enough to get the observer out. Uh, and even he could potentially start running his dragoons from the front back in that situation. It's hard yeah. to say because. If you don't go for the probes there and you immediately pull the dragoons back, I feel like you're behind anyway because then the other guy just gets an expansion and uh, yeah, you're just it, stuck in your base. It's a lose lose situation, I know. It's yeah. pretty much nothing you can really do to get a good position after that. Yeah. Um, anyway, on to game two on Aztec. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right.